All right, so today I'm going to show you how to elevate a painting. And by that, I mean we're going to take a very simple, basic painting that I have here that I did for a paint party, which all the paint parties are very basic, very beginner. Um, I'm going to show you some easy steps to make it seem a little bit more advanced. The first step is the paints that were used in this painting are really inexpensive, thin bodied, right? Or soft bodied paints. They don't have really good coverage. So what you want to do is make sure you have a better coverage um, paint. So golden is really great. It has a nice uh, thickness to it. It's a thick body paint, so it covers really, really well. So I'll be using these instead of the original paint. Uh, I'm going to start with the sky first and then the water, waves, sand, and then end with this cave here that surrounds it sort of frames the whole thing in. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my paints out here. See how the sky is really one color. We need to add some different colors in there. So I'm going to turn this into a sunset. So I'm going to start streaking in some light blue. Then I'm going to get a little lighter right here. Okay, I'm going to darken this area a little. Be very gentle. I'm just simply brushing on a little bit of color. Now I'm going to wash my brush because I want to go into yellow. And when you mix yellow and blue, it turns green and I don't want a green sky. And brush that in. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little bit more intense down here, but I want to get the white off because... I want a brighter color. I'm going to streak it up into the yellow a little bit, and then I'm going to streak that yellow down. It gives it the illusion that it's been blended. Okay, now I'm going to bring a little bit more yellow down. Just like that. Okay, now if we want, we can add our sun in there. And if you want to get a perfect circle, just find a cap. So I'm going to take this cap off, paint the rim, and stamp it wherever you want your sun. So I'm going to take pure white. Pure white will make it look like it's a really bright setting sun. So I'm just going to paint the rim just enough so that I can stamp the shape. I don't care that. It'll be a perfect circle. I don't care. We'll just pick a spot and go with it. Just like that. That's going to be my sun. And then I'm going to paint that white. Now we can add some clouds in here too if we want. So since the sun is low and the clouds are up here, then the bottom of the clouds are going to be bright and the tops are going to be a gray color. So I'm going to do the tops first and highlights after. So I need to make a gray color. So I'm going to take my white, a little bit of black, and maybe a touch of blue. Okay, now we get to have fun with the highlights. We get to make a really bright color and add it to the bottom of the clouds. We can do a pink or a red or an orange. Let's just make a nice bright color. And I'm gonna use my fluffy brush, my makeup brush, and I'm just gonna dab and blot in some, some brightness. Really gentle. Wherever I think the cloud is, underneath here. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more gray back in now. Just gently finding the spots that I want to make a little darker, dabbing, giving a little swipe. Just be very gentle. You can always dab and swipe more. You can't undo, right? It's harder to, to undo than it is to just be gentle in the beginning. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move into the water. We're going to come back to this um, sun later and add some 
some streaks of light coming out of it when everything's all dry. Definitely want to add some orange color into this ocean for sure. And obviously more details, some more waves and stuff. And it's actually really simple to do. So I'm going to make a dark blue color again. I'm just going to take pure phalo. And I'm just going to start streaking that in a little bit. So I'm staying mostly in the upper part of the ocean here. And the lower I go, the closer to the shoreline it comes. And we want this to be lighter. So mostly right through here is the pure blue. And now I'm going to streak in some other colors. Doing little back and forth and little zigzags. Don't worry about highlights. We'll do that too. Okay, we're going to add some beautiful lights in here. So let's add a little bit of a, a yellow color. Let's put some waves in here. Let's use a little liner brush. And I'm going to make a soft yellow color. Okay, now I'm going to start streaking some more color down into this area here. I'm going to go back to my fan brush. Since the water is getting thinner and you're having a lot of reflection from the sun and you might be able to see some of the sand too. So it's going to be a little bit different color than back here where it's deeper water. So I made a light blue color. Okay, now let's let's make that more of a teal color now. Let's add some yellow. Okay, let's work on our waves. So I'm gonna go back into that little liner brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of um light yellow again to the the waves here. And we're gonna add some detail to the water. Okay, so we're taking pure white and we're just going to make really loose little white squiggles like that. Okay, so now we need to add darkness under the wave because we can't tell what's happening there. So I'm going to take my orange color and make it a little bit darker by adding a touch of black. Going under that final wave where it's touching the beach. Okay, we can actually drag that out too. Drag it out, blend it a little bit. Do the same over here. Okay, I'm gonna actually darken it even more trying to be looser with my hand, right? It's, it's kind of um, really straight, so I'm trying to wiggle my brush a little bit, give it some dimension. Don't make things too perfect. Okay, now we get to have some fun with the uh, highlights. We need to work on the sun and then bring that um, reflecting light all the way down, even into the sand. So clean off your brush really well. Now, if you want, you can also add some more detail into the sand, give it some texture. You can use a toothbrush and sort of splatter in a little bit of texture. That's really nice. Um, we could do that. So take some towels and just sort of put them down to protect the rest of your painting here, wherever you don't want those splatters. This does get pretty messy, so if you want to wear gloves, that might be a good idea. I'll grab some gloves, but any toothbrush or firm brush, uh, even a firm flat head or flat brush would work. We're going to load up the paint and then just flick. Okay, so if you're doing a firm one inch or half inch, you would just brush your thumb along it. 
flick downward. You want it to be thin, thin, and then just like this. Um, so it does give it a little bit of texture. You can also do a little bit of that uh, technique along here, along the white, to make it look like it's splashing up. That's really nice. We can go ahead and do that too if you want. Or if you want something more controlled, you would just take your little brush and put it straight down into the white and just dab it downward for a similar effect if you want to do splashes. So we'll do that too. So I'm just going to take my, my brush and sort of dab and splash. Maybe around the rock a little. There. That's fun. And then let's go ahead and do this area too while we're at it. So I want to soften this up a little. Make it look like it's, it's glowing. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this one. Make sure that it's clean. Thoroughly clean. And we're going to go in with a little bit of white and just scrub in a little bit of white to make it look softer like it's glowing okay a little bit of white I'm just gonna scrub in a little bit of this paint going around the Sun just a little to soften the edge remember it's easier to add more brush strokes harder to undo okay so I'm being very gentle just like that really softens it up if you want we could add some some streaks of light. So I'm going to take my little brush and just very gently streak it out a little. Find some areas where I think it maybe it pops through the clouds a little. Okay, very, very gentle. So now let's go ahead and add a little bit of yellow down here into that sand. Right, so if the sun's coming here this is going to be nice and bright. So I'm just going to streak in some yellow. And I know it's it's still wet and it's still blending some of that splatter that we did. And that's fine. You can always add more splatter if you want. Okay, so I'm going to splatter this area again with the toothbrush, just to add some more texture really quick. Okay, so I've splattered the sand, so now it kind of matches the rest of the texture. So now we need to work on the reflection in the water just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get pure white and a little brush, and I'm just going to streak that in just a little. It's going to start here and come towards this area we just worked on streak and you can even just dab you can do little dabs if you want little streaks and dabs if you want you can also use your palette knife which we're going to be using next anyways uh, for the rocks so what you can do with your palette knife is just put a little bit of white on the edge and sort of dab and scrape with that Little dabs, that really helps. Gives it a little bit of sparkle. And you can bring that out a little too, like here. All right, so now we get to do the rocks, which I'm really looking forward to this. So we've already got our base color of our rock, the darkest color, so we need to do a shadow color and a slightly brighter highlight color. So let's do the shadow color first. I'm just going to make, since our base color is phalo blue, I'm gonna take the phalo blue and a touch of white to make a shadow color. So I'm just going to gently graze the painting with this blue color. Just wherever I think the rock is, go in the direction you feel like the rock's uh, going here. Round that out, there we go. Now we get to let this dry and then we're gonna add some nice golden highlights to it. And then that'll basically be it. Okay, so now we get to have fun with the final step. Um, I was trying to figure out what color to use because I ran out of yellow. 
So that's a bummer. Um, so I had to use some thin bodied yellow, which isn't great. So I've made an orange color and I've got my thin bodied yellow. Not sure how well that's gonna work, but we're gonna experiment here for a sec. We're gonna start with this orangey color I made and just see what it does. And if I like it, then great. But you can use whatever highlight color you want. If you wanna do pink or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's a bright, happy color. We're gonna gently graze the outside of a rock and drag it inward just a little. Right, and just be very gentle, just like that. Just drag it down. Make sure you get the rock out here. And yes, we, we need to touch up the rocks a little in the water. We could do that with the same technique, you know, and just, just hit it a little here, just like that. So we took a very basic painting, we elevated it just a little with using some simple techniques. So this is more of a moderate um, skill level, but so I think anybody can do it if you just follow the steps that I did. So there you go, I'll pop up a before and after onto the screen and you can see how they look side to side, but here you are. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure that you like and subscribe so that it really helps out my channel. It helps out the algorithm and it helps to get my channel seen. I really appreciate those of you who uh, watched this video today and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks.